This week we're going to look at some easy ways to iterate over axes and put color bars on multi-panel plots. Welcome to another MetPy Monday. Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer for Unidata. This week, we're going to look at an example that was brought up in the matplotlib getter discussion forum, and it's a really nice way to both iterate over axes and to put a color bar on a plot that has multiple axes. So as always, let's start with our imports. So we're going to import matplotlib and numpy, and then we're going to use the matplotlib inline magic. First, I'm going to show you a quick example with just a regular array here of what the first trick is going to do. So we're going to create a random 50 by 50 array. And then we're going to call dot flat. So if I look at A, we just see it's this object. This is lazily evaluated. But if I look at the shape, of A with an empty slice, we see it's 2,500 elements. So this just takes that array and flattens it out, uh, sort of like Ravel, but again, this is a, a lazily evaluated expression. All right, so now let's get to making our plot. I'm going to create a figure and some axes using plot.subplots. I want two rows and two columns of plots and I want them to share X and share Y axes. This is just a nice thing to do if you've got plots that have the same, say, time base or they're all temperature plots. It's a good way to not mislead yourself or the reader of your figure. Now we're going to write a loop to iterate over each of those axes and plot on them. Remember, if you've got multiple axes and you're copying and pasting big blocks of code, it's probably a sign that you can make your code more concise and more flexible. And we've talked about this in past MetPy Mondays. So I'm going to look at four ax in axes.flat. So we're going to go over each of those axes in this two by two array of axes. And in this loop, we're going to create some fake data. So we're going to do it very similar to the example above. Let me use random dot Rand in 50 by 50, multiply it by 10 and offset by 15 just to make it a little interesting. Now we're going to, on that axis object, use an IM show, which remember is going to map that array to a color value. And we can pick our absolute favorite color map. Now I say plasma, that's just what was used in the, the discussion. Okay, so there's our plot. Uh, nothing too special. We've done a little bit of a, a nice trick here, uh, but again, nothing that is too surprising yet. But what if I want to put a color bar? Well, we could get a color bar on any individual axis, surely, right? Uh, so after we're done with our loop, I'm going to call fig.colorbar, give it a handle to what I want a color bar on, and then I could just say, take our last axis, which is still left over in this variable ax from the loop. That's okay, but I really want it to go the whole height of my figure here. You may have seen various ways to do this, but a really cool one is by providing multiple axes to the ax argument and color bar. So we're going to do a slice here. I'm going to take all the first dimension or the rows, if you will, and the last element of the second dimension or the columns, if you will. So that's going to give me these two axes here. Now when we run that with a very simple change, just a slice, we can get this color bar that spans these multiple axes. I hope that you found this tip useful and I'll see you on next week's MetPy Monday.